on Warrior One. Um, this is another pretty basic yoga posture that's used in most, pretty much all vinyasa style classes that you may have attended or done on, online or whatever. Um, so it's really easy and it's a really awesome one that's really gonna help tone and strengthen the legs so much. So let's make sure we're doing it right and not doing anything to injure ourselves. So to begin, we wanna start in down dog. So find your down dog and then we're gonna raise the right leg up on an inhale and then exhale, bring the right leg through. Now before we move on, this right here is the first tip, okay? We wanna make sure that this right ankle, or the, the ankle that's coming forward is gonna be right below the knee. So from the side, you can see that the leg is gonna be perpendicular with the mat, okay? So that's the first goal. If, if your foot won't go all the way up, that's okay, just grab the ankle, move it up there. Get it up there however you can. <laughs> okay, next, you're gonna ground the back ankle. Do you see how I did that? So we're up on the toes here, and then you just ground the back foot like that. Now the toes are gonna be facing the long edge of the mat, and then the ankles, the, the, um, the ball of the, foot, the feet are gonna line up. So if I stand up and I look, this ankle right here is in line with this ankle there, okay? So nice straight line. Then we're going to slowly come all the way up, maintain this deep bend in our front knee, and then what's gonna happen is the, the hip that's attached to the front foot, and that sounds funny, is gonna be pulling back while the hip that's attached to the back foot is gonna be pulling forward. So what's that doing is squaring your hips and making it so that your torso is facing straight ahead. So it's a little bit of a twist here, and you'll feel that once you get into this posture, you'll feel that twist. And then you wanna stay right there, maintaining your bend, not going over the ankle or too far back. So what that looks like is, like I said, we're right here, right above the ankle. You don't wanna to be too far, and you don't wanna to be too far back either. So right over, that's gonna give you the most benefit, the most strength building qualities. Okay, now, once you've got your torso lined up, your, your torso is facing the front of the room, you can either keep your hands on your hips, you can bring your hands to heart center, or you can bring those hands all the way up. This is the full expression right here. And you're gonna relax the shoulders down and allow yourself to feel calm in this posture. Whew. My leg is shaking even from holding it that much. Holding postures and talking is hard. Try it sometime. Um, really, that was it. So it's super easy, super simple. Um, sometimes you'll find that the back leg, so let's start with the left leg. Sometimes the back leg wants to bend a little bit. Really power through that. So you really wanna push into that back foot to get strength in the back leg. And really, sometimes you'll be too far forward and too much of the weight is gonna be in that front leg. You want both the legs to be working here, and then the torso is gonna stay right on top of the hips. Sometimes it'll jut out a little bit forward, keep it right over the hips, raise the arms up, all right? Pretty sure that's everything. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. Um, really focus on the alignment of the torso, and most importantly, the knee. And I'll show you one more thing. One other thing you wanna watch out for, sometimes that knee will wanna cave in. This was my problem for a long time until my teacher just hammered it out. And now this is the alignment that I have every time and this is what you want every time, okay? So really pay attention to that. Keep the knee right over the ankle, whether, whether it be too far forward, too far back, keep it right on top. Don't let it cave in, don't let it go too far out. All right, you guys, have fun. If you have any recommendations, if there's something specific you want, let me know. And if you have any other questions for Warrior One, let me know in the comments below. Have fun, you guys.